Our goal is to make art history meaningful and integrate it into our students' literacy by discussing how we can be inspired by those who have come before us. We want students to be motivated to create their own texts, whether these take the form of poetry, prose, music, or visual art. Our goal is to have students be literate in all media and be able to communicate and express their ideas and critical interpretations. Art began with cave painters who could only use brown, black, yellow, and red pigments. These suited their needs because they painted mostly animals. Not just anyone could paint the pictures that appeared inside ancient Egyptian tombs and monuments. Those paintings were extremely important and had to be done perfectly because they were meant to help the dead in the afterlife. In the classical period, sculptors were interested in showing people and animals from all sides and angles. They still carved decorations into walls, but they produced more large, freestanding sculpture. The Renaissance produced some of the most famous, enduring, and even controversial works of art. Renaissance is a French word that means rebirth. Michelangelo, da Vinci, and Raphael were famous masters in this era. They were obsessed with perfection in human anatomy and painting it realistically. The subjects of most paintings were divinity or biblical depictions. Baroque artists concentrated upon embellishments and capturing the daily life of people. During the neoclassical era, there was a resurgence of interest in portraying figures as larger than life, even godlike. The height of the Industrial Revolution gave way to the new movement called Impressionism. Famous artists such as Monet and Degas capture fleeting images on canvas. It is characterized by playful subjects. Pointillism is a style of painting which employs distinctive dots of color. Expressionism is a term used to denote the use of distortion and exaggeration for emotional effect. Use of intense color, agitated brush strokes, and disjointed space are typical characteristics. Famous expressionists are Van Gogh and Edward Munch. Starry, starry night. Flaming flowers that brightly blaze Swirling clouds in violet haze Reflect in Vincent's eyes of china blue Colors changing hue This song by John Denver was inspired by the life and works of Vincent van Gogh. Art Nouveau is an international movement and style of art, architecture, and decorative art that peaked at the turn of the 20th century. It is a reaction to academic art and depicts organic, floral, and highly stylized curvilinear forms. Cubist art emphasizes a flat, two-dimensional, fragmented surface of the picture plane, rejecting perspective and breaking down form. Color assumes a strong role. Dadaism is a post-World War I cultural movement in visual art, literature, theater, and graphic design. It is characterized by deliberate irrationality and rejection of the standards of art. It is otherwise known as anti-art or nonsensical art. Pop art is a movement in the 20th century characterized by themes and techniques drawn from popular culture. It uses imagery that is currently used in advertising and the media. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good, good night I feel it. 
Technology now can play a major role in artistic expression and must inform a vital part of the education of students today. To be fully literate, students must be comfortable integrating classic works into modern means of expression and current context. Artists, even today, can be inspired by works of the past to create something beautiful and even revolutionary.